Okay, so I'm back. Um, apparently, we went right through her chamber and didn't even know it. So I'm just gonna break my way in here. Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. Let's, uh... Let's fight her in the air. Okay. I don't know what kind of stuff she's doing here, but I think we may have to come at her with a pickaxe. Hmm. Ah, we have to hit her through her snow armor. Well, that should be no issue for me. But with my ability to fly... Die. 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 Come on, you need to die already. Come on. Oh, wait. She dropped some kind of fancy bow. Uh, what can I... Snowball. Ooh, a tri-bow. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, and then she dropped her head. She dropped her crown. Uh, no. I don't want that. Eh. Uh, here, drop the venom. Yeah. There we go. We have the Snow Queen trophy. Well, that's awesome. So, we've conquered the Ice Palace. Which is cool. And once again, my inventory is full. You know, they really needed to have come up with a way to uh, make it where you can easily store things from the Snow Queen and all that. Because, dear God, there, there's just a whole bunch of these trophies that I'm getting. Mm. Yeah, we're going to have to have some organization going on when I get back here, finally. Mm. Now, I'm not sure how to use this. Charm of Life. It's a bobble. Now, let me check my options here. Let's see here. Creative. Dark Steel. Extra Utilities. Uh, Project E. Hmm. Thumbcraft. Open Blocks. The eye enchantments, the utils applied to energistics. Hmm. Yeah, no. Oh wait, Bobble's inventory. Uh, let's set that uh, I. Okay, yeah. So I should be able to just. Yep, there we go. Charm of life. Now, what does that do? I wish I knew. I think it's a bobble that may protect you from death. Yeah. Uses. Okay, now four charms of life. Charms of keeping makes a charm of keeping two and a charm of keeping three is four of those. Okay. Okay, so, we've made a lot of progress today, and it's with no small level of satisfaction that I say I'm going to be taking a break for the rest of the night on this. Um, so when we get back, 
if we can find a hydra, that'll be fantastic. It'll give us some fiery ingots and fiery blood that we can use in our smelter. And then we can go on to do some other cool stuff, possibly in the Aether. Yeah, so that'll be fun. So, I'll see you all next time. Hello, people, and welcome back. So, last time I said I was going to go look for some of the different biomes that can be found here in the Twilight Forest, and it seems as though I have just stumbled across one. Uh, this is the icy Twilight Forest area, I believe. Yeah. And what we're looking for here is a glacier palace. Yes, an aurora palace, if you will. Oh, wait a minute, I know these guys. Hey! Guys, yeah, you trade raw fish and all that for different spears. Eh, I ain't got any of that right now, so you guys can just sort of go do whatever you want. Uh, oh, what's this? This is... Oh my, that looks extremely unpleasant. Let's kill them. Kill them all. Oh, damn. They like pushing. Like pushing a lot, apparently. Yeah, they like throwing, but I don't think they realize I don't take any fall damage. Yeah, look at all these yetis. They're just really trying to legitimately hurt me by throwing me around, but the problem is they don't understand the fact that I do not take any fall damage while holding this ring, so I am effectively invincible to their attacks. Alpha yeti. Okay, alpha yeti is big. Big, big yeti. He's hitting me with snowballs, is it? Yeah, let me just kill him. I think while he's just flailing his arms there, he's impossible to reach without taking damage. You know, he's not all that bad, really. I mean, what's he done? He was just sitting in the middle of his cave full of his followers. Uh-huh. Now, oh, what do we have here? Ice bombs. Hmm, interesting. And, uh, Alpha Yeti fur. Oh, that's nice. Very plush and lush. <laughs> Let's kill some more Yetis. Get some more Yeti fur. Ow. They actually managed to hurt me by doing the one thing that I can take damage from. Being put into a block. Yeah. Kind of disappointed it didn't, didn't give me an Alpha Yeti trophy, though. But, I know we're in, a, in the biome where there's another boss. Aha. Uh -huh. See? I switch. Get ahead. Of course, to go along with the I switch are these adorable penguins that everyone just loves. Yeah, she makes her home 
in a frozen fortress atop an endless glacier of awfulness. Uh, oh, and did I forget to mention that the fortress is aurora colored? <laughs> yeah. Fortress is a friggin' aurora borealis. And it's very ironic, um, because she's not even that tough, really. Uh, she's not. I've killed her before, um, unless I've changed something. Holy sweet mother of God. Who killed that? Well, I'm not going to leave that dragon lying there. Hold on, I think I actually have to have a bare hand for this. Yeah, that is a big ice dragon. Damn. Just damn, that's a stage four. Stage five is bigger, though. Okay, then. So, okay, so apparently the villagers built into her fortress? That's weird. It's very weird, but not unheard of. Okay, so... Right now, I'm going to set a waypoint. Okay. Yep. Then teleport back to the portal so we can empty out my inventory. Um, by the way, if we can get a hold of an ender chest in this mod pack, which I would hope to get to, you know, when it updates, uh, that'd be great. So I can just, you know, pop things into my ender chest inventory and then have it pumped out into an ME system once we get one of those in. Mm -hmm. Just putting a whole bunch of this random stuff that I picked up along the way in here. Yeah, got a lot of random stuff. Yeah, it'll be even stranger and more interesting when we hit the Aether. Because the Aether has very different rules to normal Minecraft. Yeah, let's teleport back Ice Palace. Okay. Well, let's go inside and kill some shit. When we come... Yeah, when we finally do kill this lady... Uh, crap, why do I still have these dragon bones in here? Thought I threw them away. Uh, here, knightly axe. <laughs> yeah, better than normal axe. Yeah, I don't think she'd probably be expecting someone to be able to fly and go up here. It's weird. Why would she make it out of wood? Oh. What's in here? Ooh, Aurora blocks. An ender bow. Ooh, iron wood ingots. It's perfect. And fireflies. Ooh, I love hanging these fireflies up. I'm hearing some kind of clanking noise, kind of like one would expect of a hunk of glass gently. Oh, wait, a hunk of ice gently clanging in a glass. Ooh. More ironwood and fireflies. Coal and maze wafers. And another ender bow. That's cool. Is there anything up here? say yes. Let's see here. Well, we picked up a lot of junk, didn't we? <laughs> Just sticks and... Now, ice is actually pretty important. We've never actually been able to pick up ice before. So that's, that's pretty useful. would design that. Makes no sense. What did I just pick up? 
Aurora pillars. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's just grab fireflies, arrows, because I think we may need those. We'll throw one of these ender things back, and we'll put this birch wood in there, because, you know, just weirdness. Okay, again, we have reached a dead end. Which tower is she in? <laughs> Make up your mind, game. Which tower is the Ice Witch in? We just want to kill her and get going. Well, actually, I just want to kill her and get going. But, look, so we are running a little low on time here, so I'll cut it here, and I'll wait until we find her. Next time.